picture this. Your cat, a furry master baker, perched atop your lap, rhythmically pushing their paws into you. Is it a massage? A bizarre workout routine? Nope. It's the enigmatic feline need, a source of amusement and occasional discomfort for cat owners everywhere. These adorable little bakers aren't prepping dough for the oven, but they are working their magic on you, their chosen target. With each push and pull, their eyes may glaze over in pure bliss, oblivious to the world around them. But what's the driving force behind this quirky behavior? Well, my friends, cats are complex creatures with a language all their own. Needing, like many feline quirks, is rooted in instinct, a primal urge passed down through generations of curling ancestors. So buckle up, fellow cat enthusiasts, as we journey into the heart of this needy mystery, exploring the whys, the hows, and the owls of this endearing feline habit. Get ready to unlock the secrets behind your cat's rhythmic rituals. One theory behind this paucitive behavior lies in those adorable little toe beans. Cats, as you know, are masters of their domain, rulers of their castles, and they've got the scent glands to prove it. Hidden within those cute little paws are scent glands that release pheromones, those invisible chemical messages that cats use to communicate. So when your cat needs on you their favorite blanket or even that new rug you just bought, they're essentially claiming it as their own. Think of it as their personal brand of graffiti, only a lot cuter and less likely to get you in trouble with the landlord. It's their way of saying, this is mine, all mine, in a language only other cats and those who pay close attention can understand. This instinctual behavior dates back to their wildcat ancestors who used scent marking to establish territory and communicate with other felines. And while your pampered house cat might not have to fend off rivals for food or territory, those primal instincts die hard. So the next time your cat starts kneading on you, take it as a compliment. They're essentially saying you're part of their inner circle, their trusted confidant, their personal scratching post. Okay, maybe not that last one, but you get the idea. Beyond marking their territory, cats also need as a way to stretch and soothe their muscles. Imagine waking up from a long nap, feeling a little stiff and achy. Cats experience the same thing. Kneading helps them loosen up those muscles, getting the blood flowing and preparing them for a day of napping, eating and more napping. It's like a mini yoga session for your feline friend, a way to release tension and get those paws primed for action. But it's not just about physical comfort. Kneading also provides a sense of emotional well-being for cats. The rhythmic motion and the feeling of their paws pressing against a soft surface can be incredibly calming and therapeutic. Think of it as the feline equivalent of a warm bath or a good book, a way to unwind, de-stress and find a moment of peace in a chaotic world. It's no wonder cats look so content when they're kneading away. Remember those heartwarming videos of tiny kittens nursing on their mothers? Kneading is closely linked to those early days of nursing. As kittens nurse, they instinctively push their paws against their mother's belly to stimulate milk flow. This deeply ingrained behavior often carries over into adulthood, becoming a source of comfort and security for cats long after they've left the nest. When your cat needs on you, they may be tapping into those early memories of warmth, nourishment, and maternal love. It's their way of recreating that feeling of safety and contentment, a reminder of a simpler time when life was all about cuddling, napping, and endless supplies of milk. So while it might seem like a random behavior, it's actually deeply rooted in their early experiences and their bond with their mother. And let's be honest, who doesn't love a good dose of nostalgia? It's just another reminder that even though our feline friends may seem aloof and independent, they still crave that sense of security and comfort, just like us. Section five, love bites and happy feet, decoding the signs. Now, not all needing is created equal. Just like humans express affection in different ways, cats have their own unique kneading styles. Some are gentle giants, their paws barely grazing your lap, while others channel their inner jackhammer, leaving you wondering if you need a tetanus shot, but fear not. My friends, there's a method to their madness. The intensity of the need can often tell you a lot about your cat's mood and what they're trying to communicate. A gentle need, accompanied by soft purring and slow blinks, is a sure sign of contentment and affection. It's their way of saying, I love you, human, you're warm, you're comfy, and you make a pretty good pillow. On the other hand, a more vigorous need, complete with extended claws and the occasional 
Love bite might indicate excitement, overstimulation, or even a little bit of stress. Think of it as their way of saying, whoa, things are getting a little too real right now. I need to release some tension. It's important to pay attention to your cat's body language and adjust your interactions accordingly. If they seem overwhelmed, give them some space and let them decompress. But if they're purring up a storm and giving you those slow blinks, feel free to bask in the glow of their feline affection. Section six, Claws of Fury, tips for a positive experience. Now let's address the elephant in the room, or rather the claws on the lap. While kneading is a natural and mostly harmless behavior, those sharp little daggers can sometimes put a damper on the cuddle session. But before you banish your cat to the doghouse, just kidding, don't do that. There are a few things you can do to manage those needle-like claws. First and foremost, regular nail trims are your best friend. Keeping those claws trimmed will significantly reduce the ouch factor during kneading sessions. Think of it as a spa day for your cat, complete with a mani-pedi, minus the polish, unless your cat is into that sort of thing. If your cat is resistant to nail trims, try using positive reinforcement techniques like treats and praise. You can also invest in some claw caps, which are soft vinyl covers that adhere to your cat's claws, preventing them from scratching. Remember, patience is key. Introduce these new experiences gradually and make it a positive association for your feline friend. Section 7. When to worry, kneading outside the box. While kneading is generally a harmless and even endearing behavior, there are times when it can be a sign of an underlying medical condition. If your cat suddenly starts kneading excessively, especially if it's accompanied by other behavioral changes like increased vocalization, aggression, or litter box issues, it's time to call in the professionals. Excessive kneading can sometimes be a sign of pain or discomfort, just like humans might rub a sore muscle Cats may need to try and alleviate pain or discomfort in their paws, legs or abdomen. It's their way of self-soothing, but it's important to address the underlying issue causing the discomfort. In some cases, excessive kneading can also be a sign of cognitive decline, especially in older cats. If you notice any sudden changes in your cat's behavior, it's crucial to consult with your veterinarian to rule out any medical conditions. Remember, early detection is key. By paying attention to your cat's behavior and seeking professional help when needed, you can help keep your feline friend happy, healthy, and needing contently for years to come. Section eight, know your cat, know their need. Every cat is unique, a quirky individual with their own preferences and quirks. Just like some humans are huggers while others prefer a simple handshake, cats have their own kneading styles and preferences. Some cats are happy to knead on anything soft and inviting, from your lap to a pile of freshly folded laundry. Others are more discerning, reserving their kneading for special occasions and trusted companions. The key is to pay attention to your cat's cues and learn what's normal for them. How often do they knead? What surfaces do they prefer? Do they exhibit any other behaviors while kneading, like purring, drooling, or even gentle biting? By becoming a student of your cat's behavior, you'll be better equipped to understand their needs and provide them with the care and attention they crave. Remember, communication is key, even when it involves rhythmic paw movements and the occasional claw to the leg. Section nine, creating a perfectly safe haven. Since we know kneading is a natural instinct for cats, it's our duty as their caretakers to provide them with appropriate outlets for this behavior. Instead of discouraging the need, offer them enticing alternatives that satisfy their primal urges without sacrificing your furniture or your skin. Invest in some cozy cat beds or blankets with different textures to appeal to their senses. You can even try placing a heating pad on low under their favorite blanket for an extra touch of warmth and comfort. Just make sure it's cat safe and supervise them to prevent any accidents. Another great option is to provide them with scratching posts covered in sisal rope or cardboard. These provide a satisfying scratching surface that can help remove dead claws and satisfy their instinct to mark their territory. By creating a stimulating and enriching environment for your cat, you'll encourage them to engage in natural behaviors like kneading and scratching in a way that's safe, healthy, and enjoyable for both of you. Section 10, the need for professional help. 
recognizing the signs. While kneading is typically a normal and harmless behavior, there are times when it's important to seek professional help. If your cat's kneading becomes excessive, especially if it's accompanied by other behavioral changes like aggression, restlessness, or loss of appetite, it's crucial to consult with your veterinarian. These could be signs of an underlying medical condition or stress that requires attention. Your veterinarian can help diagnose the issue and recommend appropriate treatment options. Remember, cats are masters at hiding pain and discomfort. By being proactive and seeking professional help when needed, you can ensure your feline friend lives a long, healthy and happy life, filled with plenty of purrs, head bumps and, of course, kneading. Look for signs like excessive grooming, hiding or vocalizing. Monitoring your cat's behavior closely can help catch issues early. With timely intervention, your cat can return to their playful, happy self.